Hey, badass business owners, have you ever thought about using YouTube as part of your marketing strategy in your business? It's a great way for you to be able to grow your sales and even more importantly, grow those profits. If you think about it, Google is the number one search engine, but did you know that Google owns YouTube? That's right. That's why if you Google a lot of different things, you're going to start finding videos popping up. And the reason you're finding videos pop up is because guess what the number two search engine is? And that is YouTube. So what happens is when people are Googling about your business or how to do things that are within your business, a lot of times they're getting suggestions from YouTube. So let's talk about five different things that you can do using YouTube that can help you with your business. Now, the first thing that you can do is create how-to videos. If you think about your business, what you wanna do is you wanna show people how you make the things that you make, you wanna show them how you install what it is that you install, whatever it is that you do, there are videos that you can teach people how to do what it is that you do. Now, I hear some of you already going, Tammy, but if I tell them how to do it, they're not gonna call me. Well, that's not quite true because in some cases they're gonna watch and go, wow, that's way more complicated and difficult than what I wanna do. And they're not going to use you. Plus, you gotta keep in mind, your videos are gonna be seen by people that are nowhere near where you're at and they wouldn't have called you anyways, but they're gonna go ahead and benefit from the information that you're giving. And here's what's cool about that. And that's that piece I just talked about, the benefit of listening to you. Here's what you're gaining by you creating these videos is you are creating confidence with these people and you're building your reputation with them and they now trust you because if people like and trust you, they're more likely to use you. So let's just say that they can fix that little thing that you just taught them how to do. Now when they get into something that's a little bit more complicated and they have to reach out to somebody, they're more likely to give you a call in your business because you've already built this trust with them. So by creating those things, it helps them out. Plus it allows them to know what it is that you're going to be doing. So just because they're watching the video, it doesn't mean that they have the skill set to do it, but you're showing them all the processes. So now when you show them your pricing, they're gonna go, wow, yeah, I watched the video. I saw how much goes into you fixing it. That's complicated, dude, just, just take care of it. So it really can sometimes help with your pricing for people to understand what it is that you're charging. Now, the second thing that you can do is to talk about your business. People wanna know more about you. They wanna know more about your business. They wanna know more about the services than products that you provide. So what a great way for you just to kind of step back and do a couple of videos, maybe two, three, even five videos that one, maybe it's talking about your business and why you guys are there. It could be something short, like a mini commercial, if you will, about your business. You can also talk about the different services and what it is that you do. So there's all kinds of different things. You can meet the team, if you have a team, all kinds of different stuff. So please take advantage of that as well. Now, the third thing that you can do is what I call frequently asked questions, because I also believe these should be on your website. You are asked a million questions all the time, and I'll bet you you can narrow down five to 10 questions that people are constantly asking you. So why not make videos about them? You can have individual videos for each one, or you can do them all in one video, but it's a great opportunity for you to be able to take those questions, not only answer them, but also to explain them and the why behind them. And a lot of times that's gonna help people. So when they ask you something simple, you don't have to necessarily to say no that doesn't work that way or you can say yeah it doesn't work that way but here's why and you can go into a little bit more in depth on them and you can reference them back to your website you can put them on there that's the cool thing with youtube videos is you can embed them inside of your website so it's another great opportunity for take those videos and use them across platforms now, the fourth thing that you can do is before and after videos. So for example, you can take ingredients and show them the after product and how you make it. That's kind of neat to be able to learn is how somebody makes something that they sell. The other thing is if you provide a service, show people what it looks like before and then show them afterwards, show them their dirt backyard, if you will, and then show them the beautiful thing that you created. Show them the grass that's dying and then show them how it looks good. Show them the bathroom before and then the remodel afterwards. You know, a lot of people use this on Instagram and they get a lot of likes and people following those things. I encourage you to do the exact same thing. All you gotta do is ask the homeowner for permission, just like you do probably now for pictures and just say, I wanna take some videos and you just take videos before, take some videos during the process and at the end. And then you kind of put them all together to kind of show them what's going on. People love to see how the sausage is made, if you will. People love watching how things are done. So what you're doing in all of these videos that we've been talking about so far is really just showing people how it's done and how it's made, how it's created, what type of service, 
how they go from point A to point B. So that's what's great about these before and after videos. Now, the fifth thing that you can do with your videos is something that most people don't even think about, and that is you can use them for training videos for your employees. And this is something that a lot of large corporations and companies use all of the time. They use the art of video. So all you've got to do is you can take videos of your company. You can sit there and you can do talking head videos where you talk about your company, your mission, what you guys are about. You can talk about the do's and don'ts within your business. I do recommend you keep these anywhere from five to 10, maybe 15 minutes at most when you're doing the talking head ones. But you can also create videos that show them how to do what it is that you do. Job description, if you will. So if you want them to do a task, show them how to do the task, have a video on that. Uh, If you wanna show them how you repair something, have a video on that. And by the way, you do not have to have these out for the entire world to see. These can be what is called unlisted videos in YouTube, where only you and your employees or whoever you give that link to can view. A lot of people utilize this, and this way, if you're hiring a bunch of people, especially if you have a business that tends to have a lot of turnover just because of the nature of the business, what a great way to be able to save you all the time and energy of you sitting down doing it. So what you can do is you can have them watch the video, then they can come demonstrate what it is that they learned, that you can do it with them side by side in the field, but at least they've had an opportunity to watch it first. So this piece alone is a game changer for a lot of businesses that have employees and they need to constantly be going over things all of the time with them. Now, I'm going to give you a bonus number six that I think a lot of people can also utilize if they want. And that is something that I do in in my other business in real estate. If I have an out of area client and I'm going to be looking at a house for them, a lot of times I'll do a video and I'll do a video walkthrough tour where I'm talking to them, my clients directly. And what I'll do is I'll upload it into YouTube, but I'll make that unlisted just like I was talking about earlier on those employee videos, and then I send them the link. And this way they can see what's going on. So if you think about your business, let's just say that you do go to people's homes and oftentimes you help homeowners get their homes ready before or after they ever arrive, you can show them before and after of the things that you did. You probably noticed that when you try to use the phone, you're limited in how much time you can share with them. But now if you use YouTube, you can have longer videos that are two, three, four, even 10 minutes long, and you can share those videos with them as well by just sending them the link. Almost everybody can open up a YouTube link. So it makes it really easy. So right there alone are six different things that you can do with YouTube to help your business. Now, word of caution, I don't want you going out there and becoming YouTube obsessed and wanting to worry about the algorithm and how many subscribers you have and all that. That's not what you're doing it for. You're just creating content that helps your business and helps your business communicate to your end user. Now, is it a benefit that you're gonna gain people from all over the place that are gonna watch your videos and like them? Absolutely. But the main reason that you're doing this is for your business so you can grow your sales and your profits and you can talk directly to your customers on a regular basis. And I think that's a huge win for many of you. Uh, And if you later decide you want YouTube in your life, then you go for it. Uh, But for many people, I think that you're gonna find that just those six, I started with five. Those six things are definitely going to help you with your small business. And I definitely challenge you to use it. And if you want to learn some other tips and tricks that you can do in your business, then check out this video. It's going to be on one of these two sites, probably on this side. And I'll talk to you on the next video. See ya.